All right, the S&P 500 has never been higher, my friends, even though the Dow had a tough day of it. The Nasdaq did not. The S&P 500, in case you're counting, that's the fourth straight record for this average that is more representative of America. 500 companies from all sorts of industries. A lot of people use that as sort of a good housekeeping stamp of approval for how America's doing. And today, it was doing very well. People buying in like crazy. All right, uh, in the meantime, we told you what the UAW is going to do now in, in, in supporting Joe Biden to get reelected president. The Teamsters have not made a decision on this issue. Sean O'Brien doing his homework, he says, talking to all the candidates, I mean, even those who have since left the race. And that includes Donald Trump. This was from my chat with him earlier. We met with Donald Trump uh, two weeks ago, um, and we are meeting with our general executive board and rank and file members uh, at the Teamster headquarters on January 31st. Uh, we've extended the invitation to President Biden. We're talking to the White House now to try and schedule both on the same day. Um, and we think it's important that we're meeting with all candidates. Uh, we have a very diverse membership, 1.3 million members. So we owe it to our members to do our due diligence and make the recommendation what's in the best interest of uh, Teamster members. Nationwide. You know, Sean, the other Sean, S H A W N Fain of the United Auto Workers, had said of a meeting with Donald Trump that it would be pointless. Quoting him here, I see no point in meeting with him because I don't think the man has any bit of care about our workers and what they stand for, what the working class stands for. He went on to say he serves a billionaire class, and that's what's wrong with this country. So, meeting a well, waste look, of time. I what do you make of that? I mean, everybody has their opinions. You sure, know, my sure. opinion is, my opinion is, I think, uh, you know, everybody has their own structure and opinion in doing things. But dialogue is very important. Uh, it's been very important to our organization. It's been very important. And look, we we have conversations with billionaires every single day, corporate America, who we negotiate against, who we have to deal with. And you know, a lot of times you find common ground when you have a dialogue. And look, I'm not speaking for any other union. I'm speaking for the Teamsters Union. We're not going to be influenced by any pressure to endorse one candidate or the other. You know, we understand that, you know, there's a lot of pressure out there to make an endorsement. We're going to do what we've historically done. We're going to do our due diligence and make our decision after, uh, after we get input from our members and our general executive board. It's been quite a while since you considered a Republican. What would, what would make you switch now? Well, look, there's a lot of issues that are important to us. You know, there's a lot of issues that, you know, we've got to deal with national right to work, which we are not for. We've got to deal with making organizing uh, members that much easier without threats of retaliation. We need bankruptcy reform. We need a lot of commitments. There's a lot of boxes that need to be checked off. You know, President Biden has done great work on behalf of the unions. He's done, he done real well fixing the pensions. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, what we've done in the past doesn't make it, you know, guaranteed for the future. And we've got a very diverse member and membership. And our members vote. We know what our members, how they vote, and they mm. can influence an election. So we need to make sure that all the boxes are checked off on behalf of our members. You know, Sean, they certainly vote. And a lot of them are in the MAGA crowd. They love Donald Trump. Um, they, so they don't often mimic union bosses. Uh, I don't want to paraphrase you that way. But, but that there is a difference between the higher ups and the rank and file. What do you what what, what do you notice at the Teamsters? Well, that's the perception. Yeah. You know, I know who I work for every day. I have bosses. I've got one point three million bosses that give me elect me to lead this great organization. So, um, look, at the end of the day, everybody has their opinions. It's a different time. To your point, you know, we endorsed, you know, Nixon. We endorsed Reagan. We endorsed George Bush Sr. Historically, over the last several years, you know, the Democrats uh, have gotten, uh, you know, the endorsement consistently. Right. But, you know, it's like anything else. We've got to take a step back, look what we did in history, and see if that's going to help us moving forward. And at the end of the day, the decision that's going to be made is going to be an inclusive decision. It's not going to be a one-sided. We're not going to take a hard line and say, we're not meeting with certain people. Uh, I'll meet with anybody anytime, uh, especially if it's in the best interest of our members. And I can't speak for anybody else's thought process, but I can only speak on behalf of the Teamsters Union. When you did meet with uh, Donald Trump, how did it go? It went fine. I mean, we, we put our cards on the table. It was a very matter-of-fact uh, meeting. Yeah. Um, you know, he claimed he was, you know, 100 percent, you know, supportive of unions. Uh, you know, but history, obviously, take a look back, and there's certain issues that we have with him. We told him what our uh, issues moving forward is and what we want well, to see a president of the United States. You know, a lot of workers didn't like working with him. They said he wouldn't pay them. He wouldn't pay them overtime, that he reneged on contracts. I don't know how true a lot of that, but there's a lot of burnt bridges 
with his own former workers. Uh, did that enter your thinking process? Yeah, I mean, we, we, we had a lot of dialogue on that. We said, yeah. look, there's a lot of information out there that, you know, contradicts what, what you said. And, uh, you know, he assured that uh, moving forward that he's, you know, pro-worker, pro-creating jobs, just like everybody else says. And, you know, the one thing that we are good at, uh, regardless of who wins this presidential election, we are going to be a conscience to any candidate, whether we support them or not, to remind them of what they said and what they are doing. I think that's important. All right. Uh, Sean O'Brien of the International Brotherhood of Teamsters, he's not given any indication as to how soon he'll make a decision on who he's supporting for president, but he says it will be with a lot of homework and a lot of time. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.